I bought myself uh, a new sander um, to work this way or that way. And this, of course, um, this will be quite useful. I made this device a few weeks ago. Um, and it uh, screws into a T-nut and you can put it at any angle you want like that and you can adjust this to any height that you want and that way and then you can adjust this and it acts as a vice stop so that if you've got a component and you want to repeatedly place it in exactly the same position in the vice um, you can do so. Um, I didn't film the making of this because in truth, it's an almost exact copy of a design by AIDS Workshop, and I don't think it's fair to steal his creativity. Uh, I just made it for fun, uh, partly because it gave me an opportunity to use my rotary table, uh, which I bought when I bought the mill, but have hardly ever used. So I used the rotary table for making these uh, rounded bits. Uh, AIDS Workshop made this thing over a series of about three videos as a kind of mystery object and he made a bit of it and said well can you guess what it's for now and things like that um, and then later people commented that uh, what about the dimensions of this how do I make a copy of it so he then made another video in which he took the thing apart and uh, showed you, you the dimensions of it and said that uh, actually if he made it again he'd make it slightly bigger and things like that but that other video is buried in the middle of some other video, uh, so you can't easily find it. So I'll put in my uh, links in, in the description to all of those videos that he made about this. Um, I had one problem with this, which is that when you do this up, it clamps here very satisfactorily, and this, this will not go, it, this does not go up and down. But, I found that it would quite easily rotate like that. Although I had milled this first surface flat and that surface flat, and the, all the holes and bolts are made on the mill and should be at right angles, I found that it nevertheless did not grip very well. Um, and in, in the end I lapped these two surfaces to get them to grip better. But I feel that a better design would have been if I put a hex uh, head on here rather than a knurled one. So that you could uh, use a, a spanner to do that really to up tight. <coughs> Nevertheless, I think it's okay. Actually, on looking at that afterwards on the video, I saw that this actually moved as I moved the part towards it. So, I, I've done it up tight properly now. Um, I think it's okay. You don't want to be bashing hard up against these things. So, um, this actually took me two days machining. So it's, I mean, it's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, parts. But I was quite surprised it took me, obviously I didn't spend 24-7 on it, but I mean, it took me two days uh, um, uh, work to make this. But it's quite a nice thing to have, and it's quite flexible. And that is all I have for you today. Sorry about that. But I've still got COVID, <coughs> although I'm getting better. <coughs>